Hey everyone, okay, so it's that time of year again when I buy a full year's worth of skincare. I do this for several reasons. This stops me spending any money throughout the year because I already have my core items. And because I'm lucky enough to be in a position where companies are sending me other things, I do also get to try out other products. But this is my essentials. This is what I use and what I will be using for the upcoming year. Should we make a start? We'll start with sunscreen. So I buy a year's worth of sunscreen, checking the date, of course, that it will be still within um, sell by date, which it is. So year's worth of sunscreen, there's two of these. Well, there's four here of, which is Supergoop, the unseen sunscreen. Very good for somebody like me with very oily skin, but in the, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But in the winter months, and I, I tend to prefer something a bit more uh, emollient. So Dr. Sam Bunting, I use uh, daily sunscreen, which is just an epic sunscreen. It's really, really good. When it comes to cleanser, um, I'm pretty much okay with most cleansers, but I bought four of these. I'll show you them now. These are the Cetaphil, or Ketaphil, as I prefer to call it. Uh, gentle skin cleanser, one liter bottle. And we've got four of these here. So that's a year's worth of cleanser there. Got those from Amazon. So at night, I use prescription strength tretinoin cream. And I use Dematica, and I've used Dematica for years. So that this comes to me every single month in the post. Don't have to sign for it, nothing. Every night I use that. I do, however, mix it with a moisturizer or an oil. Now I haven't bought any additional ones because I already still have loads, so I don't need to bother buying any, but I, I'm not fancy. I will use whatever I have at hand, but I do always mix um, or layer the tretinin cream. But of all the things, the sunscreen and a prescription strength product are the things that are really gonna make the difference. All the rest is superficial. Trust me on that. I'm gonna do a whole video dedicated to how to use and work up and truly, truly be able to use prescription strength products, whether it's a tretinin cream or whether it's um, a high strength azelaic acid. There are ways of working up where you will have zero irritation. I currently use 0.01% and I don't receive any irritation on my skin, but I do behave and I do respect it. So. Once a week, I will exfoliate my face. Just once a week, I no longer do it daily, and I only do it with a chemical exfoliant, you know, like a liquid. So, Dr. Dennis Gross, the peels, once a week. There's enough in there for over a year. So that's that taken care of. During the day, underneath my sunscreen, because I don't do a lot of exfoliation or anything else that's gonna be irritating other than a prescription strength product, I'm able to add additional skincare ingredients into my skin. Now, I don't like wearing stuff during the day. I only like to wear sunscreen because my skin is oily, but I will alternate between these two, which is Brightly by Dr. Sam Bunting. This is an azelic acid, which I will apply first and the sunscreen over it. I only apply half a pump, it's worth knowing. So one of these lasts me half a year. On the other times, I will add a retinol product because I really, there's a lot of benefit to using a retinol, not retin-A or tretinin, a retinol product underneath your sunscreen. There really is. There's lots and lots of benefits for it. So I will also use, and I really like the Junk Elephant one. So I will use a tiny amount. Both of these will last me six months. That's my routine. That is it. Don't do anything else other than the stuff that comes in that I get to very, very gratefully try and check and go through. I don't use anything else. Don't buy makeup for myself, don't care for it. What I do use on my skin for filming is either Bare Minerals, and I use Medium, or I use um, Jane Iredell, and I tend, to, I tend to use a light beige with Jane Iredell. That's it, that's all I do. And that's just for filming. Um, I'm never, I, I recently, not, not here, but I recently tried a 
tanner, fake tanner. I'm no, I've never cared for fake tanning. I always find I feel dirty with it on. But I recently tried one by Amanda Harrington. I hope I've got that name right. Um, and it was so good, so good that I bought myself enough product to last a year, which really for somebody like me who just wants a tiny bit of color because I don't want to wear anything on my skin, but I want to look healthier, just two bottles of each, that's it. That's my skincare, it's all done. You got the cleanser, you got the sunscreens, you got a once a week exfoliant, you got a monthly prescription for um, Dermatica, and I got these two products during the day. All the information in the description bar. Let me know if you think it's a good idea to buy a year's worth of products or if you prefer to just keep switching things up. Let me know in the comment section. I, I'm, and I'll tell you what would be really fun if you've made it to the end of this video, congratulations. What would be really fun is if you, if you could take the time and actually write what your skincare routine is, AM and PM. I, I bet you, I know I'd be fascinated, but I bet you everyone else would love it as well. Particularly, and if you don't mind, and this is purely optional, you don't have to, but it would be nice if you could write your age with it as well. So we can see how um, skincare differs between people of different ages, you know, but totally up to you. There you go. That is it. How jolly was that? Absolutely jolly. Whoops-a-daisy jolly. That's what it was. Thanks for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.